Netflix is panicking. Here's their stock in the last month. Let's take a look at what happened. <laughs> I mean, at least to me, it looks like that stock price got cut almost like right in half. So Netflix's shares dropped 39% after a massive subscriber loss. Uh, they announced at their first quarter uh, quarterly earnings that they had lost 200,000 customers. Um, <laughs> so that is the equivalent of it losing $60 billion. Um, yeah. Uh, wow. So the, there's, the shares are on pace for their biggest drop since October 2004 and are now worth less than $100 billion in uh, market value. Um, so they lost 200,000 customers in the first quarter, uh, the first time it has lost them since 2011. It also projected that it will shrink by another 2 million customers in the second quarter. A big problem with Netflix is that it's too easy to leave the service. Consumers feeling the pinch from inflation will be looking hard at their expenses and streaming services are a quick way to save money. So I bummed off someone else's Netflix earlier this year for a couple of months and then uh, they changed their pricing structure, right? And then I was able to bum off my brother's Hulu account. For some reason, I got kicked off that too. Not going to elaborate on maybe family-related reasons, but um, yeah. So the, these services have been way too easy to bum off someone else's account. And why wouldn't you? Like, they just keep raising the prices, like, and they lie. They It started out at $8.99 a month. And then suddenly I was paying like $14 a month. And like, you know, they play with their pricing structure and whatnot. It's like just a lot of unnecessary crap. And also they are constantly not... Like, I only was watching the anime and like I had watched all the ones that I had wanted to watch. And like, they weren't adding any new ones. Like they they just went all in on Netflix originals and like most of them are crap like there's a meme where Netflix would green light any show on it okay so the drop in customers has led Netflix to break some of its longest standing rules it will introduce a cheaper advertiser-supported option for subscribers in the next couple of years, and will start to crack down on people sharing their passwords before that. So, screw you, Netflix. Um, you don't get to dictate how we um, interact or share our passwords or whatnot. Um their stock has suffered this year as the pandemic era surge in user signups faded and investors have turned away from high value technology and growth stocks due to rising bond yields. Uh, da, 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 da. Other um, ones, other technology stocks have also fallen. Netflix's stock has been a Wall Street darling in recent years with three out of every four analysts. Uh, covering the stock recommending a buy at the start of the year. Uh, now even Wall Street bulls are flipping size after Netflix missed even the most bearish forecasts, not just once, but twice in a row. Analysts across Wall Street reduced their price targets for the streaming video companies while nine brokerages downgraded the stock. Uh, J.P. Morgan's Douglas Anmuth, who cut his buy recommendation that he had maintained since 2013, said he was encouraged by the company's intentions of creating an ad business, a model that has worked for Hulu and Disney Plus, but noticed that it wasn't still in early stages. Like, I would like to watch, have Netflix, but like, if it's going to be supported by ads, why do I still have to pay money for it? 
It should be free. You're... I'm having to watch ads. Why do I have to pay, like, money per month for it? When it comes to subscription services, there are two primary reasons why consumers cancel. Pricing or content. Uh, Netflix has a problem with both. From 2016 to 2021, Netflix is spending on content nearly tripled. Um, with the subscription costs rising 55% in just over six years, that is what I was talking about, consumers have likely reached a breaking point and feel the cost is no longer worth the content. The other thing is, even though they've spent a lot on content, that doesn't mean uh, quantity equals quantity. Or quantity equals quality. And I hate... I'm very, yeah, like they'll just green light almost any show, it seems like. Okay, so I asked my friend what his opinion was on the whole uh, Netflix situation is, and what he said is, quote, I think they will lose subscribers by removing password sharing because a lot of families live in different households, but they were trying to counter that by planning on implementing a service that will show commercials during Netflix for cheaper. I believe they said they would charge two ninety nine dollars a month for that. I mean, I, I agree with them. It's just like, if you're showing me ads, I don't want to pay a monthly fee still. Like, to me, that's like why I don't play World of Warcraft. Is like, well, that's kind of unrelated, but like $60 a month? That's insanity. Like, Xbox Game Pass for 100 games is 60. Thanks for watching. This has been your host, Luke. Check out my podcast, Reptilian Insider News. Um, tell me your thoughts down below. Do you still have your Netflix account? What do you think of the thumbnail? Am I cool?